How's it going, folks? This is Mike, Gray1951, and I'm here to do something, uh, I don't know, something a little unusual just for fun, a little project I came up with, and I'm going to see if I can recite, and by memory, all of the winners of the Best Actress Academy Award from the first year, which was 1928, up until the present day. And I used to have... I used to have these memorized uh, years ago. I could remember them. I recited them to my, in my head all the time. Uh, best actor, best actress, and best picture. I had them all memorized up until about the sometime in the mid-1970s. And then as the years went on, I didn't memorize the ones that were more recent. So I kind of uh, lost my way. And I just, I, I've been reading them off um, in this wonderful book I've got here. Academy Award winners, which goes up to the year 2010. And then I copied the, the the rest of them up until two, four, 2014 uh, from online. And I, I think I've got them memorized, so I just want to uh, challenge myself and see if I can do this. And I swear I'm not reading a script. There's nothing in front of me except my face, ah, which is pretty scary. So uh, let me see how far I can go. And obviously, if I screw up, I'm, I'm not going to post this. So I may be doing this three or four times. All right, starting with, oh, first a note about the Academy Awards for the first year. When they gave awards to the actors, they gave it not just for one film that they did, but for their entire body of work for that year. And the other thing is the way some of the lists you see are numbered in such a way that in the first six years of the, the awards, it's not just for one year, but for example, the first year is 1927 slash 1928. Second year, 1928 slash 1929. But I'm just going to give the second year. So I'm going to start with 1928, okay? Best actress of 1928 was Janet Gaynor for Sunrise, Street Angel, and Seventh Heaven. 1929, Mary Pickford, Coquette. 1930, Norma Shearer, The Divorcee. 1931, Marie Dressler, Men and Bill. How many people remember Marie Dressler? Great actress from that era. Uh, 1932, Helen Hayes, The Sin of Madeline Claudio. 1933, Catherine Hepburn, Morning Glory. 1934, Claudette Colbert, It Happened One Night. Now that's an interesting year because that was the year that Betty Davis made a huge impression in a film called Of Human Bondage. And she did not, in fact, it made her a star of her night, really. But she did not get nominated, and a lot of people thought it was political because she was loaned out to a different studio than her home studio, Warner Brothers. So a lot, there were so many people complaining about the fact that Betty Davis was not nominated for *Of Human Bondage*, that the Academy decided that they would allow write-in votes for the first time, and Betty Davis almost won. So I think that's the only time that's ever happened. I'm not sure. Okay, so 1935. Betty Davis did win for a film called Dangerous, and she always uh, considered that to be a consolation prize for having not been nominated in 1934. Okay, 1936, Louise Reiner won for The Great Ziegfeld. Now that's interesting because she was not a very well-known actress, and the, the part she played in The Great Ziegfeld was basically a supporting role, but she was so impressive to people at the time that they gave her, they, they nominated her for leading actress, and she won. And she also won in 1937 for The Good Earth. In 1938, Betty Davis won again for Jezebel. 1939, um, yes, Vivian Leaf, Gone with the Wind. 1940, Ginger Rogers, Kitty Foyle. 1941, Joan Fontaine, Suspicion. 1942, Greer Garson for Mrs. Miniver. 1943, Jennifer Jones, The Song of Bernadette. 1944, Ingrid Bergman, Gaslight. 1945, uh, Joan Crawford, Mildred Pierce, 1946, Olivia de Havilland for To Each His Own, 1947, uh, Loretta Young, <coughs> yeah, Loretta Young, let me take a drink of water here, folks, Loretta <coughs> Young for The Farmer's Daughter, 1948, Jane Wyman, Johnny Belinda, 1949, Olivia de Havilland once again for The Heiress, 1950. Now, this is a really important year. The winner was Judy Holliday in Born Yesterday, and she was basically a newcomer to films. But that was one of the most competitive years ever for actresses. You had Betty Davis and Anne Baxter, both nominated for All About Eve, which was the best picture of the year. You also had a fantastic performance by, um, um, yes, yes, come on, Michael. Eleanor Parker in a, a terrific film called Caged. And the, the other nominee 
which I think would have been my personal favorite, was Gloria Swanson from Sunset Boulevard. So she and Betty Davis were having these enormous comeback roles, and they kind of canceled each other out. But I think I probably would, it would have been a dead heat for me between Betty Davis and Gloria Swanson. Okay, 1951, Vivian Lee in A Streetcar Named Desire. 1952, Shirley Booth, Come Back, Little Sheba. Now that was a role that Betty Davis had been offered, and she turned it down. And her, she was also nominated that year, Betty Davis, for a film called The Star. And one of her competitors was Joan Crawford in Sudden Fear. So it's probably a lot of fur flying that year. Okay, 1953 was Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday. 1954 was Grace Kelly in The Country Girl. And my personal opinion about that year is that the winner should have been Judy Garland for A Star is Born. Okay, 1955 was Anna Magnani, The Rose Tattoo. 1956, Ingrid Bergman, Anastasia. 1957, Joanne Woodward, The Three Faces of Eve. 1958, Susan Hayward, I Want to Live. 1959, Simone Signore, Room at the Top. 1960, Elizabeth Taylor, Butterfield 8. 1961, Sophia Loren, For Two Women. 1962, Anne Bancroft, The Miracle Worker. 1963, Patricia Neal in HUD. 1964, Julie Andrews, Mary Poppins. 1965, Julie Christie, Darling. 1966, Elizabeth Taylor in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. 1967, Katherine Hepburn, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. 1968, Katherine Hepburn once again for The Lion in Winter and a tie with Barbara Streisand in Funny Girl. 1969, Maggie Smith, The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. 1970, Glenda Jackson, Women in Love. 1971, uh, okay, here's where I start to get crazy. 1971 was Jane Fonda in Clute. 1972 was Liza Minnelli in Cabaret. 1973, Glenda Jackson, A Touch of Class. 1974, Ellen Burstyn, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. 1975, Louise Fletcher, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. 1976, um, Faye Dunaway in Network. 1977, Diane Keaton in Annie Hall. 1978, Jane Fonda, Coming Home. 1979, uh, Sally Field in Norma Ray. 1980, Sissy Spacek in Coal Miner's Daughter. 1981, Katherine Hepburn on Golden Pond. 1982 was um, Meryl Streep in Sophie's Choice. 1983, Shirley MacLaine, Terms of Endearment. 1984, Sally Field, Places in the Heart. 1985, Geraldine Page, The Trip to Bountiful. 1986 was um, Marley Matlin in Children of a Lesser God. 1987 was Cher in Moonstruck. 1988 was Jodie Foster in <clears throat> The Accused. 1989 was Jessica Tandy in Driving Miss Daisy. 1990 was Kathy Bates in Misery. 1991, Jodie Foster again for The Silence of the Lambs. 1980, 1992 was Emma Thompson in um, Howard's End. 1993 was, let's see, oh boy, Holly Hunter in The Piano. Yeah. 1994 was Jessica Lange in uh, Blue Sky. 1995 was, has anybody seen Blue Sky? I never, I never saw it anywhere. Nobody ever talks about that movie. 1995, Susan Sarandon, Dead Man Walking, great film. 1996, um, that is um, Francis McDormand in yeah, Fargo. 1997. Okay, here's where I start to get really crazy. Um, oh, um, Helen Hunt, as good as it gets. I think I'm right. 1998 is Gwyneth Paltrow, Paltrow in uh, Shakespeare in Love. 1999, Hilary Swank, Boys Don't Cry. 2000, um, yeah, what's her name? Julia Roberts and Aaron Brockovich, which 
I mean, as much as I like Julie Roberts, but I, I really think that that year the deserving winner would have, the deserving nominee would have been Ellen Burstyn in Requiem for a Dream. And if you've ever seen that film, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, 2001, Halle Berry in Monsters Ball. 2002, Nicole Kidman in um, The Hours. 2003, uh, Charlize Theron, Monster. 2004, um, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Oh, Hilary Swank again for um, Million Dollar Baby. 2005 was... Um, Reese Witherspoon in Walk the Line. 2006, Helen Mirren, The Queen. 2007 was uh, Marion Cotillard in, and I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, in La Vie en Rose. Uh, 2008 was Kate Winslet in The Reader. 2009, Sandra Bullock, The Blind Side. 2010, Natalie Portman, The Black Swan. 2011 was Meryl Streep, the Iron Lady, 2012, Jennifer Lawrence in Silver Linings Playbook, 2013, Kate Blanchett for um, Blue Jasmine, I love that movie, and 2014 was Julianne Moore in Still Alice, okay, let me know if I missed any, okay, good night.